welcome dear all in our youtube channel lxs projects myself professor mohin shek and today we will see a new hardware setup title name is iot based smart water heater so hardware model is as on your screen you can see so let's uh, discuss about the components used in this model so as you can see it is actually main switch to turn on and off the heater and all monitoring circuitry next part is uh, it is actually nut connector to take to 30 volt power supply uh, we will use this nut connector here as you can see and the next component is a uh, dual channel spdt relay it is used to turn on and off the heater okay and uh, the next component is a uh, lcd lcd responsible to show current temperature and required temperature on all screen with i2c module to connect the water heater to our model this plug socket is used a specification as on left side you can see to sense the water temperature we will use this uh, temperature sensor it is actually a waterproof temperature sensor and uh, white form is connected on its head to run our model we will need a power supply for this purpose we will use this adapter so let's connect the adapter to our model using the usb connector and dc adapter has connected to our model time to connect uh, the water heater to our model using the socket plug and to run our model we need to 30 volt power supply for its purpose we are connecting heater pin and dc adapter to 30 volt extension board then after we will need to put our water heater into the water for the safety purpose and then after we will dip the temperature sensor on its surface using the form it will float on the surface for the iot application we will need to connect our model to the wi-fi so for this purpose we will need to use a mobile hotspot we can use a, a, a wi-fi routers also and then after we will need to change the wi-fi name and it's a password so as you can see we are uh, place, uh, putting the wi-fi name and it's a password according to the code uploaded inside the board so after uh, writing name of wi-fi and it's a password we will need to show the hotspot setting and then we will need to turn on the hotspot okay then after uh, when our model will connect it will show here on connected devices so we have done all the arrangement to, to see it's uh, working so time to see its uh, performance so first we will see how we can visit our android app so first we will uh, go back to the home page of the phone okay then we will visit to the app and uh, app user interface is as you can see so time to turn on the project so let's uh, so pressing the main switch and project has turned on after a few seconds we will see the parameters of our project so you can see current temperature is 21.9 degree c and uh, required temperature we will set now and currently heater is off as you can see using the uh, slider on the app we will set the required temperature okay and a graph you can see here live temperature we can detect using the graph so let's set the required temperature okay so you can see in the white uh, on the right side it is showing the required temperature so let's set it to uh, 36 uh, degrees c so you, you can see 36 degrees c has a bit on the lcd screen and uh, heater has turned on okay current temperature is 21 degrees c and heater has turned on so it's slowly slowly water temperature will increase so you can see heater has turned on so after uh, two minutes you can see uh, you can see uh, water vapors are arriving on the heat waves you can see in the inside the water as you know you see with the concentration you will see and uh, you can see our temperature has uh, increased from 21 to 23 degrees c heater temperature is slowly slowly increasing when it, it will reach to 36 degrees c heater will automatically turned off so water temperature is uh, rising slowly slowly water quantity we have uh, taken is less so that we can heat the water quickly for the fast demonstration of the model so current temperature is 27.6 and it is increasing slowly slowly you can see uh, current temperature is showing on the app and LCD live exactly same so 28 and required is 36 see with concentration you will see heat waves inside the water 
and bubbles are appearing around the heater it means our heater is on and our project is working fine so let's see what is the current temperature current temperature is 31 point so it is increased to 32 only 4 degrees left to turn off the heater okay reached to 33.2 and within a few seconds our heater will turn off so concerted on the LCD screen say 35 and see heater is our current on now and heater has turned off you can see heater has turned off because our water temperature is due to 36 degrees C. it means our model is working fine so again we will take uh, another reading by increasing the current temperature using this slider using the slider we can set the required temperature and it has turned off okay so let's set uh, again a uh, new reading for the current temperature using the slider so now we will set uh, see we have increased the current temperature required temperature 42 so again our editor will turn on see it has turned on you can see again within uh, less than one minute uh, we will reach from 36 degree to 42 degree C heat waves we can see inside the water around the heater element see water is uh, temperature is 39 degree C okay we can see the temperature graph on the app slightly curve we can see because temperature is rising current temperature is 40 degree C after 2 degrees C, heater will automatically turn off. So, uh, some seconds are remaining because only 2 degrees C left here. See, current temperature is 41. See, with concentration, heater will automatically turn off. See, heater has turned off successfully. It means our model is working so fine. So thank you so much for watching this video. For more videos, visit our YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. And if any person have any kind of query, please ask in comment section. So we will meet in next video. Take care.